So here I am with Cheryl Hogan and with Ellen Kaufman. We've been spending the past two hours together protesting the uh, continued detainment of the men in Guantanamo. So do you want to give us a little bit about what brought you here and why you did this? What, what brought you to this? Well, today I'm here because this is the day that I'm participating in the rolling fast that Witness Against Torture is organized. And that means that, that today is the day I'm fasting, tomorrow it'll be another person maybe in Chicago, the next day someone else maybe in Oklahoma, and on and on around the country. Um, and actually more than one person is fasting today. So I'm on a 24-hour fast, and rather than stay home and do it in my living room or something, I decided to come down to Greenfield and try to help people understand what's going on at Guantanamo because men are dying there. Men are, men are dying emotionally because they can't, they have no justice. And they show it like the And uh, they're dying physically because they're starving themselves. Now we may have viewers who don't know much about this and you've got the number of men, there's 166 men who are currently still being detained in Guantanamo. And do you know the number of them who are on on hunger strike? And then he's just like um, the Pentagon said yesterday it was up to seventy seven men out of hundred and sixty six. And um, the lawyers I understand, the lawyers for these men that are in not great communication because it's their communication is restricted. I think it's more like a hundred men out of 166. It's a pretty extraordinary um, number considering you know the, the population there. And uh, 86, we know 86 of the men there um, were cleared for release. Some as many as five or six years ago. And yet they're still there. So they've lost hope. They've literally lost hope of ever getting out of there alive. And their only way that they have, the only weapon they have now, is to use their own bodies. So they're on, they're on hunger strike. They're, not, they're refusing food and water. Uh, the Pentagon admits they are feeding 15 of them. Uh, force feeding is a, is a torturous procedure. It's very painful. This tube is stuffed up their nose and into their stomach, um, and they're fed that way twice a day. By being, they're, they're strapped down because yes. the, the men don't want to be fed. So it's really a humanitarian crisis, and people in this country don't know what's happening. Yes. And so standing here on the sidewalk in Greenville, at least for a couple of hours, at, at least. So, so during this, this witness today, you gave out almost a hundred flyers to people. And what was the response of people on the streets? Um, most people accepted a flyer. Um, only one person made a sort of negative comment, um, but mostly and a few people honked as they drove by. I think that, um, I think generally receptive sometimes, but many people didn't even know what what we were doing. They accepted a flyer when they let they, had that, like, they were interested. Where, like, um, a few people off, came and yeah. really thanked us. And then I think doing? as soon as we left, as soon as the morning yeah. people left, immediately after they were So here you are part taking part in the rolling fast. And you mentioned the website is Witness Against Torture. It's actually witness torture dot org. Witness torture dot org. Right. And um, and we know that we're here in North, in, we're here today in Greenfield, and uh, and that there are people all around the country who are joining in this protest. Right, and I know there's a big uh, demonstration planned in New York City. To, or was it today? I think. Um, yeah, I mean, people who are aware of what's happening were kind of desperate. It's like the men in Guantanamo were desperate, desperate for how can we save their lives or not? You know, and desperate. Really, our, our reputation in this world is in desperate straits. We, people look, like Ellen said, people look at us as, as we're the criminal nation. And why? Because we'll put 166 men in a prison and leave them there forever. What kind of nation is that? Not the kind we want to live in. Not the kind I want to live in. Right.